this time, I'd like to ask you to please rise for the playing of our national anthem. And welcome everybody to Sunshine State Conference tournament style as the Tampa Spartans get ready to take on the Barry Buccaneers in a Sunshine State Conference semi-final game here at the Bob Martinez Center on the campus of the University of Tampa. Jack Ike along with two-time Hall of Famer DeCarlo DeVoe will be having the play-by-play -play and the color commentary for today's game. Tampa advanced to this game beating Embry-Riddle on... Tuesday nights, 62 to 52, and Barry went on the road to St. Leo and pulled off an 81 to 78 win in that game. Other winners were Florida Southern, a 65-57 winner over Lynn, and Eckerd, an 81-66 winner over Nova Southeastern. Eckerd is hosting Florida Southern in the other game. We'll get you the starting lineups for today's game. For the Barry Buccaneers, they will start number 10, and that is Ashley Pink, a 5'9 junior from Sudbury, England. Aisha po uh, Ashia Poole is number 14, and Ashia Poole is a junior from McKinney, Texas. Number 15, the best, most decorated player on the team is 5'9 senior Harriet Swindells, from Blackburn, England. Number 32 is Emma Hergott, and she is a six-foot senior from Oslo, Norway. And rounding out the starting lineup is number 21, Skylar Sanderson, a freshman from Harwich, Massachusetts. Head coach is Christina Baugh, and she has been the head coach at Barry for the last two seasons. Starting lineup for the University of Tampa Making another change, Dory Nudge, the All-American basketball player, not available after suffering a lower leg injury a couple games ago, so she will be replaced in the starting lineup. For Tampa, they will start number zero, Kayla Bonilla, a five-foot senior from Columbus, Georgia. Number one, Maya Gusto, a junior from Naples, Florida. Number two is Aliyah Abney, a senior from Rochester, New York. Number 24, Malia Sullivan, a senior from Bartow, Florida. And number 23 in the middle is LaShayla Wright-Ponder from Bloomington, Minnesota. Spartans are wearing the white jerseys as we jump it up. Barry in the black jerseys. Tampa controls the tip and get it to Kayla Bonilla. Tampa moving left to right. Bonilla pounds the pavement. Gusto. Barry in a zone. Abney looks at a three on the way. No good. Right ponder fights for it, but taken away. Ergut gets the ball into Poole. Poole looking, back pick. Inside, looking for Sanderson. Can't find her. Over to Swindells. 
Jumper on the way, no good. Rebound Abney. Quickly up court, right ponder, puts it down off the glass and in. Spartans take a two to nothing lead. Winner of this game will play in the Sunshine State Conference Tournament Championship game. That will be Sunday at 1 o'clock. Right ponder off the miss. Quickly up court is Abney, two on two. She's going to try to go all the way. Off the glass and in and out. Coming back the other way are the Buccaneers. Inside, knocked out of bounds, Sanderson. It'll be Barry basketball underneath their basket. Swindells looking to the corner. Pink inside. Layup off and in by Ergot. Tampa won the conference with a 17-3 record, 27-5 overall. Florida Southern was second at 16-4, 19-8. Eckerd 15-5, 20-3. Sullivan, free throw line back out. Gusto, a three on the way. Good. Maya Gusto picking up where she left off. On Tuesday night, Barry and St. Leo tied at 12 and 8 marks. Tampa on the turnover. That's Gusto looking. Free throw line. Kicks it out. Sullivan to the corner. Abney fakes. Drives the lane to the right. Ponder won't go in. Laid it up a little too soft. Gets the rebound and got fouled. Nova Southeastern was 11 and 9. Finished 16 and 12. Lynn 10 and 10. 12 and 13. Embry Riddle. 9 and 11, 11 and 15. Rollins and Palm Beach Atlantic 3 and 17. And Florida Tech 1 and 19. Sullivan fadeaway good. 7 to 2, Tampa. Tom Jesse said before the game that Barry likes to shoot and score. And it'll be a tough matchup for Tampa to try to keep pace with them. So far, so good. Drive off the glass, no good. Sanderson rebounds up and in. Right ponder, blocked. Three players on her. Kicks it out to Gusto, finally. Right ponder, nice lefty off the glass. 9-4 Tampa. These teams met back on January 15th at Barry. It was a 74-56 Tampa win. Then they met here in Tampa in February, and it was a 70-53 Tampa win. But, again, we mentioned Dory Nodge available for both those games. She's on the bench in street clothes. Shot no good. Abney rebounds. Gusto in the starting lineup, and she is quick and a really good shooter. And a combination of her and Bonilla should be enough to slow down any speed that Barry might have. Gusto steps back, a three, knocks down another one. And the Spartans are off and running 12-4. to four. And a quick timeout by Christina Baugh. We'll step out too. 6.18 to go in the first quarter. 12-4, Tampa on top, right here on Tampa Spartans.tv. On my team, I thrive to work as hard as I can. I mean, whatever you do on the field, there's a positive correlation to whatever else you do be it personal relationships, homework, the way you carry yourself. I've changed since I got to King University. It's really helped me to develop as a leader. I think it's honestly the best thing that's ever happened. I did not like it. 12-4. Tampa off and running. 
in the first six minutes of this basketball game. Lachega Wright Ponder with four. Malia Sullivan, two. Maya Gusto has buried a couple three-pointers, and she has six. Tampa shooting 55.6% early. Barry, two of seven, that's 28%. Miss, rebound Bonilla. Quickly up court to a streaking ponder off the glass and in. 14 to four, Tampa. Tampa's had some slow starts recently and then just overwhelmed teams as the game went on. This time they're off and running. Abney, double pump, up, good, 16 to four. Wow. The Spartans are the one that are putting on the break. The juice, Maya Gusto has the ball. You can see she's just always looking ahead. See who, what teammate has the court. Abney, inside the right ponder. One man, on, one person on her and she lays it up a little too hard. I was gonna say man to man defense is what I meant there. Baena just into the lineup. She goes crashing to the floor. Might be a foul on Malia Sullivan, or it might just be out of bounds. Erin Antosh is going to come in for Lashiga Wright Ponder. Another big for Tampa. She played well when she gets in there. Has put up some big points for Tampa in a reserve role. Falafel into the lineup, number 23 for Barry. Long three, Swindells airballed it. Tampa with a little backcourt pressure. They're seeing for the first time. Break it with no trouble. Bonilla, long three, won't go. Come back the other way. Jumper, Swindells, and there's her first bucket of the day. Barry had gone 340 without a bucket. 10 point lead for Tampa. Zone again. Abney launching a deep three. Won't go. Swindells skips it around, knocked out of bounds by Abney. <laughs> Eleanor Marcheski into the Tampa lineup. Swindells inbounding. Bossaker right into the lineup. She misses. Aaron Antosh with the rebound. Gusto directing traffic. Gets a pick from Antosh. And they might have got Antosh with too good a pick. No, I think they got a travel on Gusto. A little stutter step after she came off the pick. Urgot inbounds it. Very heavy international influence on this Barry team. Seven of their 15 from outside the U.S. Swindells from England. Jump shot. In and out. Bonilla. To the corner. Marcheski steps in, steps out. Gusto. Good. She as three of three, all from pretty much the same spot, just a little bit left of the free throw circle. 19-6, Tampa. Ergot, up and in. Three minutes to go, first quarter. Bonilla, zone trap, 2-1, two, 2-3 two, zone. Bonilla, skip pass, Marcheski, Sullivan, 
Bonilla, wide open. She's going to do it. On the way. Won't go. Tipped out of bounds. It'll be Barry basketball. Foreman into the lineup now for Barry. We are only seven and a half minutes into this game, and Barry has gone 11 deep. 19 11 off of that basket. <coughs> Gusto. Slowing it down. Lead now cut to eight. Back-to-back -back baskets. Bonilla, jumper, rattles it home. 21-11. Stolen by Marcheski. Spartans have some numbers. She's going to back it off. Gusto, Marcheski, three, deep corner. Airballed it. Lashega right ponder coming back for Tampa for Antosh. And we are underway again. Minute 43 left in the first quarter. My broadcast partner has made it to Carla DeVoe. You know, why don't you just stay away a little while longer because they got a 10 point lead. <laughs> I hope, well, I hope I'm not the black cat, Jack. Look at that. They just scored. <laughs> and my apologies. Um, Me too, Spartan, faithful. Um, um, animal, a little bit of an animal situation for oh. my daughter taking care of her dog. So she got me trapped up in traffic. Uh. Nevertheless, I'm here. <laughs> Sullivan. Bonilla. Backs it out. Shot clock to 10. Gusto Bonilla. Inside to Sullivan, fadeaway jumper, good. Spartans just shooting lights out. Yeah, Sullivan looks like she got some rest because uh, on Tuesday night her shots were flat. Spartans are off and running in this one though. 23-13, biggest lead has been 13. Tampa led 19-6. Little backcourt pressure. It's been token resistance, just enough to run some clock off, and then they fall back in their zone. Unless they find right ponder, that one doesn't fall, though. Spartans have been looking to go inside quickly, and it's worked. Deep three. Thornton won't go. Right ponder with the rebound. That's her sixth already. Six rebounds in nine minutes. That's a good ratio. Great ratio. <laughs> She'll have 30 before it's over. <laughs> Sullivan. Inside right. Ponder fouled on the way in. That that play, that, that, that quick pass to Sullivan, and then the quick screen right at the free throw line area in the center from LaShayla right Ponder has been... Pretty much unstoppable. That's yeah. the bread and butter move. Yep. Six seconds. Sullivan gets away, lays it up and in. Wow. 25-13. One second to go. It's going to be too late whether it goes or not. Spartans with an explosive, explosive first quarter. And they lead 25-13. to Leading the way, Maya Gusto, three for three from deep. We'll come back right after this on TampaSpartans.tv.
Great first quarter for Tampa, 25 to 13. Marcheski, right ponder, Gusto, Bonilla, Sullivan on the court. All right, and with Gusto being three for three from three point range, she's finishing right where she left off to yeah. close out the game. Automatic on so night. far today. All from the same spot, just to the left of the ju- of the free throw circle, and a turnover. Right. She hit a huge three from almost NBA range to close out the game on yep. Tuesday. Marcheski out, Aliyah Abney in, so the original starters on the floor for Tampa. And it was nice to see, you may have mentioned it earlier, but seeing Dory, Aliyah Abney, and Lachelle Raipanda get first team all conference right. honors. Tom Jesse, coach of the year. Yes, sir. That, that's, that's commonplace for him. Three years in a row. Abney from deep. A little short right into that. should be an assist. That's an assist. <laughs> it's like the old A team saying, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way they drew it up. Biggest lead of the game, and Gusto. Barry controls. On the drive is. Pool and a foul called. Foul is on Malia. Foreman will be shooting. And the ball takes a fortuitous Tampa bounce as it doesn't go through the rim. Second attempt, same thing. Same thing. Tampa gets the ball. Chance to build on the lead. Staying in the zone. Gusto, that's Sullivan. Gusto, another three on the way. Nothing but net. Wow. Four for four from deep. 12 points. All from pretty much the same spot. I'll tell you this. I guess Steph Steph and Seth have a sister, and her (laughs) name is Maya Gusto. (laughs) The juice is loose. Inside Abney. Didn't fall. Lost her balance. Yep. But again, that uh, that's probably a foul you don't want. But again, the Spartans have been able to get that play underneath uh, coming off the fast break numerous times today. Barry may be, uh, they may be a little fatigued after, you know, playing the game and then traveling up here by bus. Um, I'm, I'm telling you, it, it takes its toll not to make an excuse. I mean, that's how it is in the conference. So being first has its advantages. Yeah, playing at St. Leo, then busing all the way back to right. Miami. And probably bust up today. Right. Early morning or so. Jumper on the way by Poole. No, yes, oh, good. Wow. Wasn't a splash jumper by Poole, but nevertheless, <laughs> she got the, the, the shooter's roll. 30 to 15. Spartans have doubled up the Buccaneers. Patiently working. Barry has moved to a zone now. They're forcing Tampa to shoot the three, but I bet they're going to really key on Gusto. Nice. Abney with a nice backdoor cut yes. and in. Sullivan with the pass. Spartans already with 11 assists out of 14 baskets. I'll tell you this. Tuesday night, they look as if they were searching, you know, for what to do, and, and they came out a bit tentative in, in a very tightly fought match with Embry Riddle. Now that they got that monkey off their back, they're 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 full sail. Ergot to Pink Swindells dishes it off. Jumper by Ergot won't go. Sullivan with the rebound. Abney backs it out. Nice patience. (laughs) 
Knocked out of bounds. It'll be Tampa ball. Well, even when it goes wrong, it's going right for the Spartans. Yep. Sullivan. Abney. Weaves her way and lays it in. Nice ball fakes. It's coming easy. Swindells with the ball, limping a little bit. Kind of slowed down coming up court. Long drive, nice layup and in. That was a nice play by Barry. Caught him in motion. That was by Camp just into the lineup. They'll need a lot more of those good plays to catch up, though. They're, they're trailing by 17. Doubled up. Again, doubled them. Abney drives the lane. A little runner. That might be a charge. No. I think she was in the arc. Yes, she was. Chance at an old-fashioned three. Abney will get one. A 75% free throw shooter. Marcheski back in for Sullivan. Letting Sullivan get some well-needed rest on the bench right now. Exactly. Free throw won't go. Rebound right ponder. Oh, that one didn't fall. And nevertheless, another rebound by yeah. right ponder. That is uh, nine. Wow. Gusto just got decked by Hergot. But I'll tell you this. She's one tough young lady, man. She bounced right back up <laughs> yep. like nothing happened. Spartans, uh, it was posted by a high school down uh, near Fort Myers. Commitment from a girl. Same high school as Maya Gusto coming up here in two years. She's a junior. Okay. But committed to the program. That's great. That's great to know. Is, is They don't rebuild. They reload. Yep. Gusto. Good skip pass. Skip pass. Shot clock to five. Inside right ponder, but tipped away by Ergot to Swindells. Swindells leading scorer at 13 and a half a game. Ergot also in double digits at about 11. Swindells banks it in on a little wow. runner. She wanted a foul and she threw her hands up, but that was good defense by Caleb Aeneas. She just hit a great shot. Yep. 36-19. Into Mercheski. Wasn't ready for it. Knocked away. Swindells quickly. Tracked down by Fusari. Inside to Benitez. Jumper by Ergot, and she hits it. Little run here for Barry. 36-21. And so Bonilla gets the play from Tom Jesse. Abney won't go. Jumper bouncing, no good. Rebounded by Marcheski. Yeah, that was a very rushed shot. I don't know why she took that shot, but nevertheless, it, it, um, it benefits the Spartans. Nice to see some members of the men's basketball team here. Unfortunately, they lost on Tuesday night. Yes, sir. Very, you know, very Spartan-like for them in, to come and support their, their counterparts on the female side. Right ponder off the glass and in. Automatic. I'll tell All you right, we are still three and a 40 left in the first half. Right ponder has a double-double. <laughs> well, actually, no, a rebound. I thought they gave her that rebound. She has 10 points, nine rebounds already. I'll tell you this. That's a good game for most, but for her, she's just getting started. Yes. 38-23, Fasari with that one. If you're not in front of her when she catches that ball, she's going to turn and score. Yeah. 
Abney. Using Marcheski at the high post. Almost lost it. Gusto. Bonilla. Five on the shot clock. Misses wide. Free throw line jumper. Knocks it home. And that's Fusari with another one. Yeah, that's a tough shot. Tough shot. Stop and pop on the break. 6 points now in a row for Barry. Abney gets under and in. She has 10. Yeah, she really knows how to play the game, man. If you notice how she squared her shoulders on that layup attempt. We are still two and a half minutes left to play in the first half. The Spartans already have 3 double-digit scores. Wow. Gusto Abney Wright Ponder have accounted for 32 of the 40. It's the under five timeout. Tampa 40, Barry 25 right here on TampaSpartans.tv. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Wayne State Medical School has been my dream medical school since I was five. Athletics are important, but so is service, so is research, so is becoming a better person. And we expect you to do well athletically, but don't forget the reason you're here, which is to give back to your community and to get good grades. Two twenty-two to go, first half. Tampa forty, Barry twenty-five. Women's Sunshine State Conference semifinal game here on the campus of the University of Tampa. Swindells, uh, that's uh, travel. Uh, actually, it's on pink. I think she was looking to pass. They cut off the lane, and she tried to pull it back. And couldn't keep the feet from moving. I tell you this, she needs to take those breaks to Midas if you want a clean <laughs> stop. <laughs> Bonilla over the timeline. It's nice to see the UT Spartans handle that press with passing. A lot of people tend to try to dribble through a press. They make one, two, three passes, and it's broken. Yep. Pass inside. Ergot. Foul first on Antosh. Just back in the lineup. It was it was smart for Barry to go at Antosh as she just checked in the game. So she she's. You know, she doesn't have those joints oiled up yet, but she'll be good to go in just a minute. Every player on the Barry roster has gotten in the game already. <laughs> Flaffle does not hit that one. Barry's in a man right now. Yep. Little switch. Marcheski. Bonilla. Coming off that screen at, at, at the free throw line, Marcheski could come, she could turn the corner and pop that jump shot, that yep, mid-range shot. She passed it up that time, though. Right. I think it's kind of like last game where you said she's got to get one knocked down. And right. shot clock violation. See, because now UT just suffered a shot clock violation, but if you notice... 12 seconds prior to that, Marcheski came off that screen wide open. Yeah. That's a shot she she has to take. It's yeah. not a bad yeah, shot. It's a good shot. To take it. Barry using that as motivation here. The whole bench was up cheering that opportunity off the turnover. One minute to go until halftime. Halftime. 
Vienna missing it. And out of bounds, it'll be Barry Ball off Marcheski. The funny thing is, we always hear of team players shooting their teams out of a game, but by sometimes not taking a shot, the right shot, yep. you can also hurt your team. And a foul called inside, I think, away from the ball. Let's see who they chalk it up to. They're giving it to Bayana. So that was against Antosh in the post. DeCarlo, just like you said, two dribbles, but they were all after they were called off. Right. Four passes over the timeline. Nice skip pass, making the defense shift. Barry comes out in his own. Gusto, Sullivan, a cutting Marcheski, but three oh, seconds wow. on Antosh. What a nice cut by Marcheski. Yeah. Unfortunately, the layup was taken away by the three-second call. But, you know, she made it, even though it doesn't count. Maybe just the thought Ex of it going through. That's psychologically, it helps. Yeah, she's seen it come through. 20 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Barry can play for the last shot. The lead is 15 for Tampa. Swindells. Running some time off with Bonilla guarding her. Down to 10. Out to Falafel. She puts an air ball up. Wow. Out of bounds. Tampa will have... Oh, they call it off Tampa. And Barry will get the... No, they're calling it foul. Call a foul on, on the blockout on Marcheski. Wow. That was just a... It looked like a good blockout to me. Yep. That's... I don't think Tom Jesse will be pleased with that call. No. Wow, and it gives Barry a chance to get points with the clock stopped. This can send Barry into the locker room with some momentum. Free throw missed. She could only hope to cut the lead to 14 now with the, with the made free throw and barring any type of UT turnover. Hits that one. Barry just one of four from the free throw line. Tampa will have four seconds. Inbound to Gusto. Who, hustling up court. Looks at the clock. Launches a three. And just missed it. But a good first half for Tampa. After taking a 25 to 13 first quarter lead, Tampa with a 15 13 second quarter. And they lead 40 to 26. Leading score for Tampa is. Maya Gusto with 12 points, leading rebounder for Tampa. LaShayla Wright-Ponder with nine. On the other side of the ball, leading scorer is Ergot with six. And the leading rebounder is Ergot with three. We'll come back with more stats just before the start of the second half. 40-26 Tampa on top. You're watching right here on TampaSpartans.tv. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams, discover your talents, get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa.
Wayne State Medical School has been my dream medical school since I was five. Athletics are important, but so is service, so is research, so is becoming a better person. And we expect you to do well athletically, but don't forget the reason you're here, which is to give back to your community and to get good grades. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours.
Second half action, just about ready to go. Tampa leading Barry 40 to 26 in Sunshine State Conference women's semifinal basketball. Jack Ike along with DeCarlo DeVoe. And the Spartans have led by as many as 19. It is 14 at the half. Leading score for Tampa, LaShayla Wright Ponder, I should say, is um, Maya Gusto, four of five on threes for 12 points. And the, the only shot she missed was a desperation shot at the end of the half. Right. So when she gets in rhythm and in the offense, she is solid and has played every minute of the first half. She and Kayla Bonilla did not come out at all in the first half. Aliyah Abney with 10 points. And LaShiga Wright Ponder, 10 points, 9 rebounds, 1 rebound away from a double-double already. What's great about Maya Gusto getting her, her 3 point shot going is because a lot of teams have been trying to pack it in on UT. Yes. Uh, you know, with LaShayla Wright Ponder and Dory, and also take away the mid-range game. And they were forcing us to shoot the 3. Now she opens up the offense even more. She adds a different dimension. And as I say that, there's <laughs> Abney with the drive. She's got 12, and the Spartan lead is 16. Tampa off and running. Sanderson up, no good foul called on right ponder. Sanderson started, but didn't play long. She only played four minutes. Not foul trouble, no fouls. But right ponder was eating her up. I'll tell you this. Like I mentioned, and as you mentioned earlier, all... Barry players played in the first 13, half. 13 players, every yes, one I, of them right, got never, in the game. I've never seen that in an NCAA game before where every player has gotten in the game. Not in by halftime. Half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, they, that means that they're searching for something. Right. Just not finding it. Heavy rotation. Sanderson hits them both. She has four. Backcourt pressure. Spartans have not been susceptible to the turnover, just five in the first half. Good to see just about every men's basketball player here watching this game. Right ponder, bumps into a couple, puts it up too hard. On the run is Swindells. Foul call, no, jump ball called? Or a foul? Thought she called jump ball. Possession arrow shows it's Barry ball anyway. So here we go. Ergot, the leading scorer, goes inside to Sanderson. Ergot, jumper just outside the free throw line, misses. There's the double double for Lashada Wright Ponder. Took care of that in 21 minutes of basketball. Yeah, she's um she's been machine like. Actually, she did it 21 game minutes, but only 16 minutes for her. Right, and as, as I texted you the other night, it even seems like her. I expect her missed shots to even go in. It's almost yeah. like at the end of the game, she may be 12 of 16, and it seems like I feel like she should have been perfect. I right. mean, it's it's like. She, she, I, I expect so much of her, and I think t Coach Tom Jesse does also. Leading scorer on the team this year, and another. That's rebound 11. She's only uh, 10 assists short of a triple-double. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's, hey, who knows? She may get there. <laughs> yep. If they don't start double team her and I forcing know. her to pass, yeah. she'll keep she'll keep scoring. Ergot missing. Abney with the rebound. Spartans with 23 rebounds. Right ponder with 11 of them. It's almost half, 50 percent of the rebound in total. Yep. Abney, Bonilla, Gusto, Bonilla. Nice. Bonilla for three. Won't go. Oh, wow. but Abney comes in from the backside. Wow. Nobody there. And they're going to take a timeout. Spartans really rolling right now. Spartans now up by 19, 47, 28. We'll take a timeout as well on TampaSpartans.tv.
Wayne State Medical School has been my dream medical school since I was five. Athletics are important, but so is service, so is research, so is becoming a better person. And we expect you to do well athletically, but don't forget the reason you're here, which is to give back to your community and to get good grades. Especially when you saw the Barry seven two run to start the second half. Tampa's continuing to shoot well, fifty one percent. Poole back in the lineup. Also back in is Fusari. And Camp, so a few substitutions. Abney with the steal, and the foul is on Abney. Yeah, that may be your third. That's going to be your third. Two fouls on Aaliyah. Got to be careful with her now. And as I say that, I see Marcheski coming to the scorer's table to check in. Now, if I was Barry, I would I would attack her. Yeah, right now there's as they're doing right. Yep, she got has to be careful. Ergot drives right, Ponder intimidating on the shot, and we come the other way. I tell you this, she she's um she's competitive. That's all. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Gusto backs it out, surveys, gets a pick from Sullivan. Help her out. Yep. Right. Pass to Sullivan. Turn around. Fade away. In, oh, out, wow. and in. Strong move. Nice She's got pivot. eight. Nice shot there by Fusari. Yeah, that was a tough shot. She's definitely a scorer. 49-30. Very like a... Honestly, they're expending so much energy with that mock trap, but it's a, it's a, it's ineffective. They should probably come out of it. <laughs> in the right, Ponder skips it out to Sullivan. Drives the lane, lefty up in the air Good and in. Pass. Sullivan with ten, the fourth Spartan to reach double digits. And the lead is ballooned to twenty-one. Yep. And that might be on Bonilla. Yeah. Why are they not letting go? There we go. Let the players in. Abney coming out. Marcheski in. Spartan women well in control of this game right now. Bayana missing. They get the rebound. Drive up and in. Camp on that one. I'll tell you this. This is definitely Tampa's game to lose right now, but Barry is not going to quit. I don't think any team in this conference is, is, has quit in them. So this is one of the more competitive conferences yeah. in the nation from, for basketball, both men and women's. Jump ball called. Barry gets the possession. And as I talk about quitting after being down by big leads, we, we know we've, we've both um, seen what the Spartans women did at St. Leo University right. after being down. 19 points with 12 minutes to go. Exactly. One in overtime. Tampa got the possession arrow on this one. 
Bonilla finds Sullivan. Off the glass, won't go, foul called. We'll put Sullivan on the line. She's a 75% free throw shooter. And hits the first. Spartans as a team shoot 75.6 on free throws. That's mm. tremendous. That's, that's really good. That's, that's paying attention to detail. Yeah. Not taking it for granted. And today they're 5 of 5. Blocked by Ponder. Our Marcheski almost got it. Kipped away. Marcheski will get the foul. This will be the under five timeout. So the Spartans off to a 13-6 run here in the second half. Have up their lead to 21. 4.51 to go right here on the Sunshine State Digital Network and Tampa Spartans.tv. <laughs> 53-32 Tampa by 21 Barry to inbound 4.51 in the third quarter Guthrie back in the lineup finds a c cutting for Sari Viana no good Bonilla rebounds Uh, I know it was a Barry player, so, but nevertheless, it's a teaching moment for basketball. She caught the ball five feet away from the basket and had a nice little soft mid-range shot, but she chose to take it into the defense, and she made it a tougher shot for herself. Right ponder. Might have traveled. But she, she passed out. They call a three-second call yeah. on her. If she was passing out, you got to give her time to pass and get out of the lane, though. In and out. No good by Pink. Rebound. Bayana, she traveled. No call. Out of bounds. Wasn't forced out. Gusto, which is good baseline defense. I don't know. Like, so many players are determined to tread the baseline. All you have to do is turn and go back out the way you came yeah. where there's more room and space and opportunity. Now they picked up the press and actually trying to force Tampa. They've got Bonilla trapped and Time they get out. a timeout. Well, I'll tell you this. That's one of the worst places to pick up your, your dribble yeah. is right be, either before or right after you pass half court. Yeah, in you're that surrounded corner. on two sides by out the, of bounds. Right. The line and two players. Yeah. You got you got to see it coming, and you got to beat them to the punch with the pass. Spartans do get the timeout. Leading scorer for the day is Maya Gusto with 15. Abney with 14. Sullivan with 12. Wright Ponder with 10. Four players in double digits. On the other side... Pusari and Urgot have been stuck on six for a little bit. They are the leading scorers for Barry at this point.
Spartans. 26 rebounds today to 22 for Barry. Maya Gusto is 5 of 7 on three-pointers. The rest of the team is 0 of 9. Oh, wow. But Barry is extending the zone out a little more, seeing if they can get some turnovers. Sullivan, Bonilla, inside right, Ponder. Gives a cutting, Marcheski, she's fouled. Great cut by Marcheski and being aggressive, and that's, you know, settling for the corner three. They've Break. worked that backdoor cut a number of times once they get it into kind of the high post. Because the defense is totally converged on the Shayla Wright Ponder, so all she has to do is flip it into the open area where she knows her cutting teammate is coming. 22-point lead for Tampa. Marcheski's first point. Give her two. Right, she, automatic at the free throw line. Nice to see her get in the scoring column. Long three, no good. Trying to track it down. Saved by Barry. Turn around. And oh, in. wow. I tell you this, that was a nice move, but they need a lot more of that to catch up being down 21. Let's see what Bonilla does. Right. To Sullivan. There they're able to break get it. The, get She's the ball to the stop, middle. Place it up uh, and in. That's how you beat a trap. Yeah. That's how you beat a press. Make them pay. Sullivan now with 14. Right ponder, another rebound. That's her 12th board. Right ponder, finds Bonilla, three from the corner. Yep. Good. It seems like whatever play that has to be made except for a few little mistakes, the Spartans women are making them. Yep. Every pass that has to be made, every, every defensive rotation that has to be made. Oh, a nice jumper there by Pink. Right That's back at you. Bucket of the night. And Christina Baugh takes a timeout. Spartans lead 60-37. We'll take a timeout as well on TampaSpartans.tv. Yeah, they're 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 serious right now. They look like a. Baseball for me just kind of was the glue that kept my family together. I feel like I was able to come here and, and get my triple major as well as play a super high level of baseball against some of the best players in the country. There's a lot of options here in Division II with a lot of great ball players and a lot of great people, and they make sure that they give you every opportunity to succeed on and off the field. They lost to Eckerd. Tampa will inbound. But he runs the baseline. Right. Marcheski loses it. Scramble. Jump I'll tell ball, you this. It'll be Barry basketball. I don't. I didn't like seeing that right now. The Barry player fell on Caleb Bonilla. We saw that happen with That's Dory what happened the to other Dory. night, yeah. right? So. And 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 um, talking about Dory, have you heard anything about her prognosis? Um, she's nothing not, torn. Yeah. But they don't know if it's still swollen. Right. Don't know if they'll be able to rehab quickly enough to get her back. At least for the for the tournament, so maybe for the NCAA she can be ready. Not sure. Understood. Yep. And a foul underneath. A little ragged for the last 30 seconds or so. Falafel hits that one. Talking about the international experience on this team, they are from Italy, England, Germany, England, Sweden, Spain, 
Norway, New York. Oh, wait, that's... I know New York is almost like its own country in itself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sullivan, drive, scores, got fouled. That looks like an instant replay of her yeah. previous shot. Malia's taken over the second half here. That's 16 for her now. Yeah, she's, she's seven for seven. Yeah. I hope I don't jinx her. Seven for seven and three for three from the line. She looks like she went in the sauna, the whirlpool, had a massage. <laughs> she looks rejuvenated. Yep. Bayana in. That's a good shot. But if all Barry does at this point is trade buckets, I, 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 I like Tampa's chances yep. of closing this game out. One minute to go in the third quarter. Sullivan. Gusto. Sullivan. Free throw line jumper. Wow, that's her first miss of the Almost day. Almost rolled in. Terry Battle at the scorer's table. Get her ready to check in. Right ponder rebound. 45 seconds to go. Gusto got fouled in the backcourt. That'll be on Thornton, her first. Now, did you see that defensive play, Jack? Now, she won't get credit for a block. But the run through by Caleb O'Neill set the Barry player, of course, to miss that layup. Instead yeah. of her concentrating on the rim, she was concentrating on the defender running yep. through. And there's Dory. Yep, coming back to the bench. Slight limp. Bonilla for three. In and out. Rebound, nice Marchesky. rebound. Way to be tough. Gets it out of there. Still surrounded. And taken away by Barry. Wow, no foul. Swarming. Yeah, nothing called. Tipped out of bounds by Sullivan with 17 seconds left in the quarter. Yeah, tough break for Marcheski. I mean, you know, she, you can't throw elbows, but nevertheless, how do you get them off you? They're, they were on her like fleas on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Swindells, their leading scorer with just four points today. 13 point average. 10 seconds in the quarter. Down to five, still outside. She's not going to get a good one. Blocked by Sullivan. They'll just run the quarter out. Spartans with a 23 15 run here in the third quarter of up the lead to 22. And we've got 10 minutes to play right here on TampaSpartans.tv. We are underway, fourth quarter. Tampa with the ball. Still in a zone is Barry. Inside to Terry Battle. Foul called as the pass goes into her. Yeah, she was pushed. Nice to see, you know, Miss Terry Battle checking into the game as she works so hard and, and doesn't make many mistakes. She comes in, plays a role. Great teammate, good Battle sportsmanship. Battle through some knee injuries. Another foul call. Uh, Terry Battle again getting position. They try to push her off the block. 
Yeah, she was riding her out with her knees, and I think that's illegal now. So, look, so, she came in the game. She's not in the stat sheet as far as scoring, but she drew two fouls. Within 18 seconds, two fouls called on Barry. Bonilla in the battle. Double team finds Sullivan. Spins in the lane, triple team, and a jump ball is called. Turn to Barry. And I'll tell you this, she got more attention than the model on the <laughs> runway just now when she had the ball, but nevertheless, the tie-up goes to Barry. Poole up court. Still a 22-point Tampa lead. On the drive, it's Fowler missing. Terry Battle, big rebound. Her contributions are shown. Two fouls in 20 seconds and a rebound. Tom Jesse is Aaron Antosh and Terry Battle working today to give LaShayla Wright Ponder some chance to catch her breath. A yeah, smart move. I mean, with a 20-point lead, there's no need to, you know, bleed her out. Right. Abney, fade away. Foul called on the jumper. I, w I would think with about five minutes to go, he may be getting Abney out of the game also, possibly, depending on the, the, the flow of the game. Yeah, Abney, Sullivan. So far, Gusto and Bonilla. Have played every minute, 31. And other duties as a sign there <laughs> for Maya. Long range shooter at night, <laughs> custodian during the day. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she's a hustler. Yeah, it's the juice. That's her Twitter handle. <laughs> Abney hits the first. Second one, no good. Abney takes the ball anyway. How does she get her own rebound <laughs> off the know. free throw miss? And <laughs> she's the shooter. Often. She's done that many times. <laughs> she's, she has, as they say, she has a nose for the ball. Yes, yeah, she does. Three seconds. Bonilla puts it up. Oh, wow. It in. It's been that type of night for the Spartans. It's a two-pointer, but regardless. Oh! I thought this was basketball, Jack. It looks like a volleyball spike. <laughs> <laughs> Good block. That would be a kill. I, right? <laughs> in volleyball. 25-point lead is the biggest of the game. Hergott hits. She has a nice, a nice shot. She's only four of ten. I thought she was hitting more than that, but has eight points. She is the leading scorer. Abney drives the lane, a little floater, and she hits. Makes it look easy sometimes. Her and Sullivan are tied for the scoring lead at 17. Yep. Gusto with 15. Wright Ponder with 10. There is 34, 49, 59 points from four players. Looks like a line change for Barry. Poole hits the first free throw. Nice looking free throw shot. And wow. hits them both. Ah. 
Backcourt pressure. Sullivan waits, backs it off. Sullivan, free throw line. Lobs it into battle. Double team. Lost the ball. Foul called. Nice position. She was about to go in, in and out. She was about to kick it out. Got fouled on the pass. Want to get her a, a layup or get her some free throws so she can, you know, get, get in the scoring columns. Well deserved. Last second decision by Tom Jesse. Split second decision to get Audrey Ramsey into the lineup for Aliyah Abney. I thought he would wait till five seconds, but he, he went in sooner. Battle, and she may have got the push. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a charge called on. Yeah, a little push off by Terry. Ergot. Fusari. Lobs yep. it in, and I think Gusto got pushed down. i tell you this. Way to, way to sell it, Maya Gusto. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at the Spartans preparing for this press here, inbounder, four players, all lined up at the top of the key. Right. It's hard. have a roll as soon as it's inbounded. Sullivan, Bonilla, under seven to go in the fourth quarter. Kicked out of bounds. Tampa will retain possession. I'll tell you this, Jack. I, I've been on both sides of it, it's be, and it's better when you're on the winning side. But <laughs> when you're playing your butt off and you're still down 20 points, man, it's, it's like it, it, it's frustrating. You can't get discouraged, but nevertheless, it's frustrating because you're wondering why are we playing this hard? And, and, and no we're down results, 20 yeah. points. You know, sometimes you got to give it up to the other team, but at the same time, it lets you know how much better you have to to get to be able to compete with that team that, that's better than you. First foul on Fusari. That's already five team fouls on Barry. So the Spartans with 6.49 to go in the quarter will be shooting two from here on in. It's a great time to add to your point totals. Seventy to forty-five, and Benia now with nine points, and she's on the verge of being in double digits yeah. if she scores another point. And that'll make it five Spartans players in double digits. Out of bounds, it'll be Barry basketball. Well, I mentioned during the break between the third and fourth quarter just how tough the Spartans have been playing defense. I said, I really think they could not, wouldn't have to score in the fourth quarter and would still win. And it was 63-41 at the time. I, I, I didn't doubt you, Jack. No. <laughs> but it would require a 22-point quarter just to get there, and right. Barry hasn't done that. Not any grand proclamation or... right. The, the highest Dissing scoring. anybody, I just tap no, no, it's it, not it, giving it, up points. It, it's, a, it's a great analysis because the highest scoring quarter Bears had thus far is 15 points. The Spartans have just been tough on D. We always give high praise for offense because mm -hmm. it, it seems to be the more spectacular of the two sides of the ball played, but I, th I really think UT gets it going defensively because we've seen them start slowly offensively. However, their defense has held the other team at bay yep. until they can get going. Right. right, Ponder with the rebound. Bonilla and Gusto have still played every minute of this game. Ramsey. Spartans with a little weave. Bonilla gets in the lane, puts it up and in. There you've got your fifth player 
in double digits. Nice shot by Barry. Now I'll tell you this, I mean, six minutes to go with a sizable lead, maybe it's time to take Kale out. Well, all five starters are now in double digits. Marcheski is the only non-starter to score. Right. But bench points haven't been necessary. Sullivan, nice off the glass. Nice. Wow. 19 for her. Wright Ponder has not scored this half, though they haven't needed it. And yet she still has a double-double. A, 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 a yeah, she had... She had a 10-9 at the half. 10 points, 9 boards. She now has 10 points, 14 rebounds. Right, here we come with the subs. Marcheski back in. Right, get, those, get some of the starters out of battle. there. Should save, be save more those than likely legs. the end of the day. Yep, save those legs for Sunday. Big game coming. Spartans, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say have punched their ticket to Sunday. I think so. Whether it's by bus, train, or automobile, <laughs> they will be there. <laughs> Ramsey did it. Bodea. Marcheski. Gusto. Eight on the shot clock. Marcheski. Five on the shot clock. Bonilla banked one in. Not Marcheski open, lays it in. Wow. Good vision by Bonilla to see it, too. Work to perfection, man. I mean, they used every second on the shot clock and scored. Rebound. Gusto, and she's fouled. Camp with a foul. Her third. Gusto just... Took the hit and got back up. I t yeah, she she is like I, I think she she has on armor <laughs> for skin, man. She just it doesn't phase her. This is the under five timeout. 4:43 to go. 74-48 Tampa, right here on TampaSpartans.tv. In NCAA Division II, student-athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student-athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student-athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours to us their last game. They yeah. have a higher revenge factor. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community. And Gusto hits the free throw. Quickly down court, Swindell. And Gusto knocked down away from the ball, but I think she drew a foul. That's the second one she's drawn like that. Substitution coming in for Tampa. Danielle Delano into the lineup. Maya Gusto would. Maya, what a great day for her. Well deserved rest. Round of applause. Five of it. seven from the floor, all from three, one of two from the free throw line for 16 points. Sparked the Spartans immediately in this game, hit three three pointers 
in the first few minutes. Danielle Delano in. Tonia sees a trap. Marcheski finds Delano. Yeah, Kayla Bonilla is, is a ball of energy, man. She's <laughs> She doesn't get tired. No. She'll probably be coming out soon, though. Thornton, no good. Bonilla with the rebound. Loses it, though. Long show. Swindell's thought about it. Takes the drive foul. That should be a charge on By Swindell's. Who? Kayla Bonilla <laughs> taking the charge. She's everywhere. <laughs> Wholesale substitution, a line change coming in for Barry. Christina Baugh just not able to find anything that was working today. A little backcourt pressure. Just man to man. Swindells trying for the steal. Boy, Bonilla just saves that one. Great recovery. Yeah. Ramsey into Terry Battle. Battle looks but to Ramsey. Ramsey for three. Looks good. And Bam. Right. Hits it. Yep, she turned those nets inside out. Yeah. So Barry takes a quick timeout. It's 80 to 48, a 32-point lead. Ramsey, just perfect form, nothing but net. We'll take a quick break. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Because she was transferring within the conference. Oh. I thought Tampa now by 32. Biggest lead of the game, 80-48. Kayla Bonilla, 37 minutes of action. She she's out there playing basketball. She's saving. The, <laughs> she's kicking balls like a soccer goalie. She may be her, coming out. No, it's Marcheski coming yeah. out. Her reflexes are, are really cat-like. Rory O'Hara, freshman from Fort Thomas, Kentucky, into the game. A six-three. I, I take that back. A five-ten freshman. Drive, Bayana. She's got four fouls. Tries to push battle around and does. I'll tell you this, it's great to see Barry's bench, you know, still up still and cheering yeah. and energetic. They love and, that basket. Though. Right. They're not hanging their heads. They just know that they've they've, they've succumbed to a, a better opponent. That's it. There's nothing to be and they're angry seeing, about they're or seeing sad. Their season come to an end because not going to get a, an NCAA bid right. at large bid. Tampa will get one regardless of the outcome of Sunday's game, which, by the way, will be here 1 o'clock against Florida Southern. Florida Southern knocked off Eckerd tonight. I'll tell you this. I mean, for, just for old time's sake, we want to beat Florida Southern. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Jack. I mean, <laughs> especially if it can keep them, I, I, you know, out of the NCAA tournament, that will be like, you know, a, a double sword. But maybe I'm giving them – some locker room motivation right now to come in and, and play a game, but you know what? They're going to do it anyway. Yeah. Not sure how on the bubble Florida Southern is. I mean, second in the con. I'd say they're very much in contention for the tournament right. at 19 and 8. 
Sylvia Ferreros as Kayla Bonilla goes to the bench with 11 points, four rebounds, six assists, five assists, six assists. Nice, well-rounded game. Bayana. Knocks that one down. Florida Southern and Tampa, the top two teams in the conference, will meet Sunday at 1. Florida Southern now 16-4, and 20-8 and eight overall, so the third Sunshine State Conference team to reach 20 victories this year. Eckert at 20-4 and th four now ends their regular season, but a very good chance of getting a tournament bid as well. Would not be surprised if all three of the top three get bids into the tournament. One will get an automatic bid. Bayana tries to loop it around. Foul is going to be on either O'Hara or Battle. They call it on Battle. Sylvia Ferreros into the game, a senior from Lugo, Spain. <laughs> Under two minutes to go. Still backcourt pressure. In the battle, she gets it up to O'Hara, crosses the timeline, still going. Now she sees an opening, lays it up, didn't go. Rebound Ferrero since she had a block. Swindells lobs it inside to Bayena. Met by three Spartans, and a foul is called. The you know, is just, she, um, she just got a little anxious, Jack. She, <laughs> she saw that all that light <laughs> at the end of the tunnel was that basket, and um, she just... Laid Shot it, over. it a little too strongly. Yep. Diana has been playing with four fouls for a while now, but she has nine points to take over the scoring lead for Barry. Nobody in double digits so far. Right was... there. That was your double digit score. Minute 37, 28 point lead. Yeah, as as I as we used to say, everybody else has telephone digits. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from that sideline! Oh, nice yeah. pass, Ferreros! No, oh, bounces around. Oh, wow! Go. She hit one from that same exact spot in the last game. Long jumper, Benitez, no good. Terry Battle with the board. Ramsey, Ferreros, Delano, back door to Ramsey. Oh, Battle nice. Boy, they have run that so many times today, but that was not only a backdoor pass, but then the backdoor pass was passed off. Man, so unselfish, yeah. so unselfish, so, such good basketball, such, so fun to watch. Forty seconds left in the game. Just a matter of what the final score will be. Bayana, skip pass. Camp puts it up, no good. Tipped up, rebound. Ergot puts it in. Thirty seconds to go. Still pressing. Got to admire this. Down thirty. Still putting the pressure on. Nice dribble move. Way to get it out of trouble. Skip pass, skip pass, there it is. O'Hara tracks it down. 13 seconds, shot clock's off, Spartans can run it out, and that's yeah. most likely what they're going to do. Classy move not to shoot the ball. Yep. Three seconds. And Tampa advances to the Sunshine State Conference championship game for the women. It'll be Sunday at 1 o'clock against Florida Southern right here at the Bob Martinez Center. 
four, 56 to final. Quick run through the scoring. Camp with four. Swindells with four. Bayena and Urgot leading. Barry with 10 points apiece. Benitez with a point. Thornton with three. Fusari with eight. Pink with three. Poole with four. Sanderson four. Falafel with five. And Barry shot 35% from the floor, just 12% from three point line. For Tampa, a bunch of double digit scores. Ramsey had three, Battle had four, but then it's Bonilla 11, Gusto 16, Abney 17, Wright Ponder 10, Sullivan with 19. So five, all five starters in double digits tonight. Wright Ponder also added 14 rebounds to the side. And then Marcheski with four to round out the scoring. Tampa was 34 of 60, 56.7%. Seven of 20 from the three-point line. Five of them, courtesy of Maya Gusto, and 75% from the free throw line on nine of 12 shooting. Spartans up their season to 28 and five as getting dangerously close to that 30 win mark wow. for the season. And so we will wait for Sunday at 1 o'clock when DeCarlo and I will be back for that ball game. So stay with us. Um, so thanks for joining us tonight. Andre running the board, DeCarlo DeVoe, color commentating. And I'm Jack Ike saying we'll see you Sunday at 1 right here on TampaSpartans.tv. Go Spartans. <laughs>